Today, I'm going to show you how to turn this, a handwritten drawing, into this, a 3D printed version. The first step is to draw out your message, and then place it on your scanner, and scan it into your computer, preferably as a PNG file. I scanned mine in into the preview application on my iMac computer. From there, I could use the Instant Alpha tool to highlight the background area and then delete it by clicking on the delete key. I did this for all the white area, so all that was left was the black strokes from the marker. After I was done with that, then I saved it. So now I just need to convert it to a SVG file. I then googled PNG to SVG converter and several different ones came up. I selected the first one and then I loaded the file. So then I had to choose monochrome from the different options. And I also chose 1000 dots per inch as a resolution. Then I clicked on the convert file and it downloaded to my computer. And then in Tinkercad from the import menu I loaded that SVG file. Now it would be quite large so I reduced it down to 10 percent. The height was defaulted to a 10 millimeter height which was fine for me. Even with the 10 percent it still was larger than the platform. From there, I grabbed the corner and holding the shift key, I could resize it and everything changed proportionally. From there, I just centered it to the platform. Next, through the properties menu, I changed the name from the stupid swanky name they gave it to a simple name called Name. And then from the design menu, I selected Download for 3D printing. I selected .stl as the output, and a few seconds later, I had my STL file. So then, I loaded the STL file into the XYZWare for the DaVinci printer. It loaded it upside down, so I used the Rotate tool to rotate it 180 degrees in the Z direction. If you hold the Shift key down, it's a lot easier to do. So then I clicked on the export button and I chose for quality excellent mode. Then I clicked on the export button and it began to slice the design. It took about a minute and a half to complete this. But from there I could save the file. I renamed it back to name so I could find it again. I had done this several times so it had a 2 behind it. It became a .3w file and it was ready to send to the DaVinci printer. Okay, that was quick. So now I can pull it out of the DaVinci printer. And there I have it. A 3D printed version of my name. How cool is that? If you like this project, check out some of my other videos. And if you really like my channel, please subscribe. See you next time.